Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. Sorry, my little one, being a little rebel. Hello and welcome. So we are hitting it off with um, chapter 15 of Genesis today. 15 and possibly 16. Yeah, we'll do 15 and 16 today. It's not going to be a super long one. These are quite short chapters. Um, so this is God's covenant with Abram. Um, so after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord, God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eliza of Damascus. Now, Eliza of Damascus is actually his servant, um, and he could, he becomes quite an important part a little bit later on. And Abram said, Behold, you have given me no offspring, and a member of my household will be my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir, your very own son shall be your heir. And he brought him outside and said, Look towards heaven and the number of the stars. If you are able to number them... Then the Lord said to him, so shall your offspring be. And he believed that the Lord and counted it to him as righteousness. And the Lord said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of your, of, to give you this land to possess. But he said, O Lord, how am I to know what I shall possess it? He said to him, bring me a heifer. Three years old, heifer, heifer, uh, a female goat, three years old, a ram, three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon, and he bought him all these things. Now I don't know if you notice about um Abraham, but he does do everything that God asks of him, and so does Moses um later on. So just bear that in mind. Um. So he brought all these to them, cut them in half and laid each <coughs> half against the other. But he did not cut the birds in half. And when the birds of prey came down on the carcasses, Abram drove them away. As the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on Abram. And behold, the dreadful and great darkness fell upon him. Then the Lord said to Abram, Know for certain that your offspring will be sojourners in a land that is not theirs and will be servants there. And they will be afflicted for 400 years. But I will bring judgment on the nation that they serve and afterwards they shall come out with great possessions. As for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried in a good old age. Now, what we need to say about this, um, he did die of a very good age. I don't know if I've written in my notes how old he was. No, but I do know that he was 85 years old when um, this happened. He was 85. <clears throat> um Right, so we'll be buried in a good old age, right. And they shall come back here in the fourth generation, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. When the sun had gone down and it was dark, behold, a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch passed between these pieces. On that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your offspring I give this land from the river of Egypt to the great river, the land of the Canaanites, the Kenizzites, the Cadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites. I'm sorry if I am demolishing these, but you know. Uh, the Rephaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Jergashites and the Jebusites. So what he's doing here... He's making that covenant, which is a promise to him. And, you know, 
the Lord has come here and it always gives me goosebumps pills when the Lord comes down and speaks um, with either Abraham, um, you know, Moses or any of them. It just really gives me that because the thing is God delivers when the timing is perfect. He won't deliver on the time that you think he should deliver, but he'll deliver on timing that is perfect. Um, and at the minute for a child, it was not the right time. So we know that it's going to be, what, 25 years until he has Isaac. It's not the right time for a child yet, but he's promising him it is coming and I will deliver. Um, so just keep that in mind for that. And then we have got chapter 16. Um, now Sarai, Abram's wife, had bore him no children. She had a female female egyptian servant whose name was hagar and sarai said to abram behold the servant has presented me from bearing oh sorry the lord has present prevented me from bearing children i can't read this evening i'm so sorry um go into my servant so go into her means means go and have sexual intercourse with her but it always says go into and that's kind of what that means there it yeah, go into my servant, it may be that I shall obtain children by her. And Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. So after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian, her servant, and gave her to Abraham, her husband, as a wife. Um, and he went in to Hagar, and she conceived and... When she saw that she had conceived, she looked with contempt on her mistress. So she's conceived Ishmael here. Um, and then it says, And Sarai said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be on you. So now she's blaming Abram. I gave my servant to your embrace, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord judge between you and me. Um, so here, what they've done, even though the good Lord has said, you know, I'm going to give you a child, they've not listened, they took it into their own hands. So actually, Ishmael is not made from... God's will is actually made from the flesh because they've chosen to defy God. But Abram said to Sarai, Behold, your servant is in power. Do to her as you please. Then Sarai dealt harshly with her and she fled from her. So now Hagar's fled. She's pregnant and fled. Um, the angel of the Lord found her by the spring water in the wilderness. The spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? She says, I am fleeing from my mistress Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, return to your mistress and submit to her. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I will surely multiply your offspring so that you cannot be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are pregnant and you shall bear a son. You shall call his name Ishmael because the Lord has listened to your affliction. And affliction like means misery. Uh, he shall be a wild donkey of a man, but his hands against everyone and everyone's hands against him. And he shall dwell over against all of his kinsmen. Um, so she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are a God of seeing, for she said. Truly where I have seen him who looks at me. Therefore the well was called Bear Lahiroi. It lies between Kadesh and the Red. And Hagar bore Abram. A son, and Abram called the name of his son, whom Hagar bore, Ishmael. So Abraham, uh, sorry, Abram, it's because it gets called Abraham later, I, I always do that, was 86 years old when Hagar bore him 
Ishmael. So the notes that I've kind of got on this is Ishmael obviously means God hears. Because back in the day when they used to do this, back in the day when they used to do this, uh, when they used to name their children, sorry, I've had Jack bouncing them. <laughs> we, we, over on this channel, we do two things at once. <laughs> um, we multitask. Um, so, yeah, they used to call their children, like, after a certain meaning of the word. So, so it was God hears. Um, the thing is, like I said before at the beginning of 16, um, Abram and Sarai had no faith in God. More so Sarai, I think, had no faith in God. So, like I say, Ishmael was um, conceived of the flesh and not of God's will. They made the mistake of trying to fulfill God's promise their own way instead of waiting for God to do it his way. You know, the timing's got to be right for them. And as you know, it's still not right yet. This is only a year after he's promised it. So they haven't waited very long because they were 85. He was 85 when... Um, so probably, not, well, not even a year because obviously she got to be pregnant for nine months. He was 85 when God promised it him and he was 86 when Ishmael was born. Uh, so I know it says here obviously the angel of the Lord now angel or messengers and angels were created for God by God sorry for his service and then I went on to say obviously the affliction and the misery and I've just written in my notes um, misery means look how concerned God was of the sorrows of Hagar so he was concerned for Hagar and he wanted to look after her and all things like that um and I think that's about it for my notes on here. So Hagar, I've written just a couple of things. So basically, when, when Hagar became pregnant, she, she began to gloat. She was gloating with Sarai. Um, and then I've just made a note on Hagar and what it means. It means flight or stranger. And she was obviously Sarai's handmaid who was given to Abraham as a second wife and the mother of Ishmael. So I did make those notes. But that's about it for that. Um, and then we move on to chapter 17 next time. And in that we have got Abraham and the covenant of circumcision. We have got Isaac's birth promised again. We have got Abraham intercedes for Sodom. And, oh, that's 18, sorry. Yeah, so um, we're going to probably do next time 17 and 18. So I hope that helps you guys. If you would like to get the full notes on it, I do take pictures of my full notes and they are popped into the um, Patreon group on Facebook. If you're interested in that, please go and um, find the link on my Instagram. Make sure you're following on Instagram as well because I do post quite a bit on Instagram. Um, and it's um, Leap of Faith to God. So if you want to go and give that a follow... And thank you so much, everybody. I hope this is really helping you guys. I didn't have too many notes on this one, so you're all right this time. Uh, but we have got a brand new study Bible coming tomorrow, hopefully, which I am going to start working on. And it's just more in our language. Um, and it's got a lot more information in, so I can share them with you. So, But I'm also going to be sharing the pages because it is very expensive. I'm going to be sharing those pages in the Patreon group on Facebook as well. So if it's something that you're interested in, we're going... Like, or like I say, all my notes are there if you want to copy them. And all things like that. But yes, may God bless you all. And I'll catch you all on the next one.